Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert decimals to fractions. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have 0 0.9, 9 tenths. Now, when we convert a decimal to a fraction, we need to take a look at the place the decimal ends. So does it end in the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, or whatever the case may be? We use that place to determine the denominator of the fraction. And then whatever number we have on the right side of the decimal, so the decimal digit or digits, will be the numerator. For example, number one, we have a nine, that's going to be our numerator. Now that decimal ends in the tenths place, so our denominator is going to be 10. So nine over 10, nine tenths. Now once we have the fraction, we can look to simplify if possible. Nine tenths is in simplest form, the only common factor between nine and 10 is one. So again, this fraction is in simplest form. Now if we look at the decimal, we can read that as 9 tenths. And then looking at the fraction, we can read that as 9 tenths. These are equal. One is just a decimal, the other a fraction. Let's move on to number two, where we have 0 0.09, so 9 hundredths. This looks similar to number one. We have a nine on the right side of the decimal, but that decimal ends in the hundredths place. So our denominator is going to be 100. So nine over 100, nine hundredths. The only common factor between nine and 100 is one. So this is in simplest form. Moving on to number three, we have 0 0.2, 2 tenths. Two is going to be our numerator and this decimal ends in the tenths place. So 10 is going to be our denominator. So two over 10, two tenths. Now this fraction is correct. Two tenths is correct, but we can simplify here. We have a greatest common factor of two that we can divide the numerator and denominator by. Two divided by two is one, and then 10 divided by two is five. So we get one over five, one fifth. The only common factor between one and five is one, so this is in simplest form now. So two tenths as a decimal equals two over 10, two tenths as a fraction, and we were able to simplify that fraction to one fifth. Let's move on to number four, where we have 0 0.75, 75 hundredths. Here we have 75 to the right of the decimal, and this decimal ends in the hundredths place. So 75 is our numerator, and then 100 is our denominator, 75 over 100, 75 hundredths. And this is correct, but we can simplify here. We have a greatest common factor of 25 that we can divide the numerator and denominator by. 75 divided by 25 gives us three, and then 100 divided by 25 gives us four. So we get three over four, three fourths. The only common factor between three and four is one, so this is now in simplest form. Moving on to number five, we have 0 0.014, 14 thousandths. We have 14 to the right of the decimal, and this ends in the thousandths place. So 14 is our numerator, and then 1,000 is our denominator. So 14 over 1,000, 14 thousandths. And this is correct, but we can simplify. We have a greatest common factor of two that we can divide the numerator and denominator by. 14 divided by two is seven. 1,000 divided by two is 500. So seven over 500 here, seven five hundredths. The only common factor between seven and 500 is one, so this is in simplest form. And then lastly, let's move on to number six, where we have 
3.36, 3 and 36 hundredths. So for this one, we have a whole number, which don't let that throw us off. All we need to do is focus on the decimal and do the same thing we did for all of the other examples. So we can start by writing our whole number, 3, and then we worry about the decimal. So we have 36 to the right of the decimal, and it ends in the hundredths. So 36 is our numerator, and then 100 is our denominator. So we get 3 and 36 over 100, 3 and 36 hundredths. So whenever we have a whole number like that, we just rewrite the whole number and then we can focus on the decimal being converted to a fraction. Now 36 hundredths can be simplified. We have a greatest common factor of four that we can divide the numerator and denominator by. So we rewrite our whole number and then focus on that fraction. 36 divided by four is nine. And then 100 divided by four is 25. So we get three and then nine over 25. Three and nine twenty-fifths. The only common factor between nine and 25 is one. So this is in simplest form. So there you have it. There's how to convert decimals to fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.